Hey, up, Chatter Gang, it's dinner time in Scarborough. And we're eating at the Lifeboat Fish Bar. And we want you to dine with us because he's Colin. He's Tim. And, and together, together we are the Chatter Guys. Guys. Come on, let's get noshing. This is where we're starting our walk from. It's just opposite the New Lancaster on the promenade. Uh, and it's just by the, uh, just by in front of the arbor. The, uh, the fish and chip restaurant we're eating at today is called the Lifeboat. Um, why did you pick this restaurant, Colin? Well, I picked, I looked on TripAdvisor and I know uh, it's always subjective on TripAdvisor, but it was rated the number one restaurant in Scarborough. Oh, there you go, but yeah, who'll be the judge of that, Colin? We will. <laughs> However, when we called for coffee this morning, there were people queuing outside to get in, and it, I don't think I think it had only just opened. So maybe quieting down a little bit. Fingers yeah. crossed. It's three o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, and it is very busy. It is. It's nice to see, actually. Mind you, it's a lovely day. A little bit chilly, as you can see, people are wearing the coats, but sun's out, it's not raining. No. The middle of April, what more can you ask? Very few clouds in the sky today. It's really easy to find if you find the lifeboat station at the front of the harbour across the road and a bit further up that's where you will find it but yeah we're just you, walking south if you follow us you'll know where it is <laughs> you will and the famous newcastle packet across the road there look all oh, right is that famous well it's been now so the channel it's been there for as long as i can remember <laughs> Oh, it's... yeah, that's how the TV series are its series, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the uh, uh, BBC's uh, Scarborough. It was featured very heavily on that programme. That yeah. was their local. I'm with you now. You're right. It is well known. See the uh, TARDIS telephone box here. Another famous landmark in Scarborough. <laughs> yep. Scarborough seems to be very popular with young families, doesn't it? Yeah, there is. I think if you've got young kids, it's ideal. What more could you want? Bitter amusements, a lovely beach, sea trips out. Yep. Peas and Park. He's on park and uh, donkeys on the sea, uh, donkeys on the beach. Indeed. So you just come up here where the uh, uh, where the lifeboat station is, just in front of us up there, and then cross this road. We're on Green Look. Let's go. And if you uh, find your way where Harbour Bar is, it is just up that. Road there. Yeah, it's called East Borough, that road. Harbour Bar is always busy for ice cream. Hmm. Nickelbacker Glories. Oh, look like they do some nice ice creams there, Colin. Milkshakes. Mythical places. So it's on uh, East Borough, and you can come and we're coming up to it now. Look, and here we are. Here we are. The lifeboat. Tim, what were your first impressions? What's your first impressions of the lifeboat? I think it's very nice. It's a nice little room that it's in. It's very small. Um, just so you know, I thought you had to queue in the main entrance to get through. 
if you're eating in, but there is a door at the side of the building that you can go in, so you don't have to stand in that queue. But no, it, it seemed to nice, very small and intimate. What about the prices? What do you think to the prices, Tim? Uh, about standard price for seaside fish and chips, I think. Colin, what are your first thoughts? It was really good, really nice inside. It is very intimate. They've got uh, lots of seaside uh, pictures on the wall to look at while you're waiting. And uh, the menu, I thought they had an over 60 special, which uh, Tim did not avail of. Uh, I said, why not? Then he had to go at me because I, I wanted cod instead of addock and cod's one pound era. Oh my God, can't we? Ben Shaw's, Tim, I've not seen Ben Shaw's for a long time. I didn't even know they were still going. Oh, yeah. This reminds me of when I was 11. I used to go for piano lessons with uh, a neighbour and a neighbour's daughter. And after we'd been to piano lessons, we always went for fish and chips. And we always had a bottle of shandy with it. Ben Shaw's, was it? Uh, I don't know. My memory's not that good. But cheers, chat again. Now, Colin likes his tea brewed very strongly. Has it brewed long enough for you, Colin? I, I think so. But I'm, I'm conscious what my chips are going to come, so... I'm going to pour it now. You can't have fish and chips without a cup of Yorkshire tea. Is that a rule? It's real Yorkshire tea, and the good thing about this, Tim, is they give you another jug of hot water, so you can actually have two cups of Yorkshire tea. Not a lot of cafes, not a lot of cafes do that. Nice metal milk sauce, there you go. Oh, that's perfect. I can tell that's absolutely perfect. That's proper Yorkshire tea there. This is my uh, cotton chips. And this is my haddock and chips. My haddock looks a bit bigger than Colin's cod. These chips look a bit overdone to me. What do you think, chat again? I'll let you know. This is the bathroom at the lifeboat. Plenty of soap, hot and cold water. There I am. Hello. This dryer, it is so loud. It's like a jet taking up. You can hear it when you're in the restaurant. And here's sorry about the cubicle. Looks pretty clean and it smells nice and fresh. Uh, I'm not eating anymore. It won't great. Well, that was the uh, lifeboat. Uh, Tim, what were your thoughts on the lifeboat fish bar? Well, uh, the room was very pleasant. The waitress was uh, very nice. The, ones, the waitresses were spot on. Yeah, they were, they were lovely girls. Uh, however, the food wasn't great for me, Colin. They, I don't know what was up with the chips. They weren't overcooked, as it turned out, but they were very limp, to say the least. And my fish was wet. Uh, yeah, not great at all. What did you think, Col? Uh, there were no taste on the fish, and the chips, although they weren't overcooked, I don't know what they were cooked in. Maybe the fat needed changing. Um, I, I didn't like them at all. Uh, how many stars would you give that, Tim? I'm giving it two stars, I'm afraid. 
How I'm many are you giving it, Cole? I'm going to give it two. That's based on how nice the staff were, not yes. the quality or the price of the food. In comparison, we've just paid £30.20. In yeah. comparison to the last fish and chip shop we were in Blackpool and paid £13.95. <laughs> yes. And we got mushy peas and bread and butter, which we didn't get here. Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, Based and it was that, much, much nicer. And it was much nicer. <laughs> uh, disappointed. And if this is the best rated fish, uh, if this is the best restaurant rated in Scarborough, uh, I'd hate to go to the worst. <laughs> yeah. But will it get the, ch the guy's stamp of approval? And not on not in your name. <laughs> uh, but if you do like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel and don't want to miss out of any of our future videos, then please subscribe because it'll cost you absolutely, absolutely now. Thanks for watching, Chatter Gang. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye bye. Are you filming? Colin, what are your first thoughts? <laughs>